Do you consider your Tesla FSD car as a robo taxi? Because we're gonna test in this video how Tesla FSD, aka robo taxi, behaves in construction zone. Yes, there are like so many construction happening in my area. I already put a destination. We're gonna see if Tesla FSD can route us through that or it avoid the navigation and gets into a local road that doesn't have that construction. So let's do it. I'm gonna engage it to FSD right now. As you can see, the road is kind of blocked in front of us. We're gonna see if FSD handles that or not because this is hardware three car and we don't have capabilities oh yeah you cannot go and you don't have capabilities to back out very interesting you can see that clearly that our road is blocked so first scenario is we can back out right now and we're kind of blocked and that person is showing me that he's gonna move in one second so what i will do i will wait and we're gonna see if, if the slave fsd which is a good thing like if that person doesn't move then we're kind of stuck here because our car doesn't know how to back out and you can see that that car showed me like okay i'm gonna get out right now which is very interesting and now i have to see how fsd handles this situation as you can see there are another truck waiting right over there and there are like construction happening so we have to see how fsd you cannot go you cannot go this is a oh my goodness why you are doing it so i have to take over guys i don't want to bother people and you know like uh he's showing me like you know like how to get out but our car is not getting out from that way the way it should i'm gonna engage it right now one more time so now i rotate the steering wheel in a different position that's why FSD is kind of going in that direction and that car is giving me way. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna press that. Okay, I was about to press that and it realized, okay, that car gives me way so I can get out. Oh my goodness, this is kind of a thing that I really wish I had a hardware four car because I really wanna see if FSD backs out or reverse from that location and navigate us through a different road, right? Because it knows that I'm stuck kind of. Like that scenario is when our car, FSD or Robo Taxi, was trying to make that right turn and that guy on the truck telling us why you're doing it. Just make a left turn, right? And turn around from there. So I had to disengage. If I really had a harder Ford, that will be a very different scenario, I guess. So I had to disengage and I just rotate the steering wheel and I reverse a little bit so that we have a little bit of time. And that truck just stopped there. So FSD knows I can't go because it's kind of blocked over here where we have a truck in front of us. We have another truck on the right side. So it's, the road is kind of blocked, right? So when I engage, FSD immediately makes that slight right left turn and then wait for those other traffic while that car stopped and give us way to get in. So FSD takes a little time. I was about to press that acceleration, but it gets into that location perfectly, which is good. I really wish that I have a hardware four vehicle that I can test that reverse situation, but I don't. I really wish I could afford a hardware for vehicle right now and buy that but currently in my financial situation i can't and that's where i need your support just hit that subscribe button it's completely free and watch my content and let me know what you like about my video like whatever you want you know like just suggest me anything that'll be great also you can see that it's a construction zone area that's why our right lane is completely like blocked for the construction work and now we are following a different like completely like you know like the car is taking wow this car didn't even turn on the right indicator but if you realize that he's gonna make a right turn and now we have to march from that stop sign this is a brand new road they just color like you put those color in but it is not a kind of a blab like of like brand new brand new road they just pitched and you know like uh, did those coloring and everything uh they removed one lane also uh we have to stop on this stop sign and there is no vehicle on the opposite side we can cross it definitely our car is proceeding but it takes a little bit more time and i didn't like you see it could just easily see that you know like manhole um what is that called like the cover and now uh, i disengage because it doesn't know that construction is happening and those bumps are very bad for your tire or your rim and i have a 2021 like 2022 model uh, performance and you know like performance wheels are bigger which is bad uh, for bumps and um, you know things like that but our car handled that i could have just let it go but i don't want to damage my car so hope you understand like it doesn't 
it's, it's not something a critical mistake but it would be nice if the camera could recognize or the tire can recognize by the bomb that it's a construction zone area so I have to go slow and I have to you know like go nice over those ramp or something like that so we're going guys we're just one minute away from our first destination so hopefully um, sh what should I tell like should I say like this is a 90% positiveness over here and 10% failure because I had to back out but I don't have the latest and greatest hardware so that makes sense and also on that bump area where I disengage just because of the car couldn't recognize those so I had to because I don't want to go over a bump like very fast so that's an issue definitely so we are going I'm gonna change the navigation or stop the navigation for now so that I can change it uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another one right now so that we can go somewhere else and we can find out how FSD handles that. Are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. So I put a random destination. We're gonna see if FSD can able to handle that, um, uh, you know, like rerouting. So we're just five minutes away from our second destination. But as you can see, we, normally I didn't have to touch the steering wheel, but because of the construction, definitely the car struggles a little bit. And because we're not in the latest version and also with latest hardware, the car is definitely struggling but i love that the word the car understand hand gesture from other people other driver that they gave us a space to get in and uh, things like that very very nice very nice i'm not gonna say it's very bad it, with hardware 3 and i'm using the latest software by the way which is 2025.20.6 so many people are started receiving another one 2025 point uh, something 26 or something that will give you grok but we didn't get that yet and not so much people got it so whenever i'm gonna get it i'm gonna make a video about it and we're gonna see how grok is gonna work on our car i really wish probably in future we're gonna see it so what is my wish let me tell you that I want I can talk to my car and I want to tell the car hey I'm gonna go to a Dunkin Donuts you're gonna get into the driveway and wait for me to grab the coffee on the driveway and when I did you can see through this camera that I already picked my coffee from the window then you can go right that will be amazing but right now grok is something you can just talk but you cannot just tell something to do in your car like you cannot tell tell like hey grok um you know like take me here and stop for five minutes and then go that and do that you know like you cannot even change your climate so i really wish that i can tell my car like hey make a left turn because there is construction going on or i can tell hey um grok like can you just go from the left side because i feel like there are traffics in front of us Something like this will be great if we if we see the, these kind of things happening with our Teslas. That will be great. I would really appreciate if Tesla FSD can pull that out and like to, not Tesla FSD, like Tesla AI team and also partnering with Grok, like Tesla X AI, right? That will be great. But for now, they're just implementing Grok slowly so that you can just, you know, like not get bored you could just keep talking to that and like know different things which is also good i would say because like imagine you see something and with your tesla cameras what if like you can ask like hey grok what is this building you're in manhattan you don't know about that building and you could just ask like hey grok what is the building on my right side and it could just see it through its camera wow there is a cyclist okay nice nicely handled um, um i i'm sure that it saw that cyclist but it could just slow down a tiny bit as you see that the car is not making any mistakes so what i was saying earlier that that will be great if you can communicate with the cameras like the car can see everything with the camera and it knows exactly which lane i am which road i am and you can just say hey what is this building like which year it built it like the which company or construction um company build this building or something like that whatever you know like there are like so many things you can ask 
We're gonna make a left turn. This is kind of unprotected left turn. There are like so many vehicles in front of us and we're gonna see if FSD can pull that out. So many people are also making left turn now. Okay, it is making that left turn. There's a vehicle coming from the right side. It probably has to slow down a tiny bit. Not a big issue, but it could just, you know, like being very nice and sit over there for a, like five seconds more and just make that left turn. That'd be great too. But our car just decided, you know, like I'm gonna go, you know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end the uh, uh, navigation one more time and we're gonna see how Tesla FSD takes us from here. We're gonna make a left turn right now. Immediately the navigation changed, which is very good. We're gonna make a left turn and see how FSD handles this whole drive. So as you can see, our car is gonna proceed. There are traffic on the opposite side. Hopefully our car will be able to make this left turn and we'll be fine so we're gonna make a left turn here right over here very perfectly done very nice job over there so we're gonna play a game right now guys which i always do with my subscribers my viewers that i'm gonna tell you a number in this video right now and you're just gonna comment that number in the comment section and i will know that i'll be able to know that you watch the video till now so the number will be for this video is eight so just just write down eight in the comment section or whatever you prefer. Just write that down. That'll be great. And um, uh, yeah, guys, or like any suggestion you want me to do or anything you want me to try, something like that. Just write that out in the comment section. So we are going back to that construction area one more time. Um, we're gonna see how FSD handles that whole situation and uh, yeah guys uh, there is a car in front of us that's gonna make a left turn we need to wait and uh, now very good so we're just four minutes away from our destination I really want to see that construction zone area one more time I just looked for probably five seconds in the display of Tesla and it was about to tell me to grab the steering wheel or like you know like keep give attention on the road uh, so in this software version I, I felt that they decrease the you know like the timing of that truck you see that truck like he was almost making that left turn from our road you know like there are like people like make very narrow turn while they can easily do a wide turn so which you know like is not that great to do so we're gonna make a right turn here, but this is very narrow and FSD should be able to see that road and make that right turn very good. Very, very good, no confusion over here. So we're making that right turn and now we are gonna make a left on that upcoming traffic light, guys. So hopefully you are enjoying this video i'm gonna request one more thing that i have a membership in my channel if you want to directly support me through that membership uh, other than that watching this video or giving like uh, comment or something like that you can subscribe to my youtube um, membership tab that is probably two dollar only it's like just two dollar spending someone who wants to be a full-time content creator that'll be great and also if you want to grab our fsd beta bumper magnet just grab it from the link in the description which you can use that not FSD beta beta this should be FSD supervised bumper magnet right so you can just grab that from the link from my website or Amazon you can do that and that will also support me directly so we're gonna make a left turn on that construction kind of road you will see that when we're gonna make that left turn and you will realize what I'm trying to say that we can make this left turn but there is a truck in front of us or bus in front of us so I'm pretty sure that FSD or Tesla can see that traffic light because it's big and the height is so much that our camera is not able to pick that traffic light right now so we have to rely on that uh, bus to be moved right so we'll see how FSD handles this um, last situation so we're gonna make a left turn as you can see that bus is moving and we just kind of stuck over here so really don't know why but i think like the bus took a little bit more time making that left turn probably sitting there because i know this signal very well this signal stays at least like 10 seconds or 7 seconds but that immediately that bus moved we just the light just changed so we just have to stuck here so after this one we can make this left turn very good job you can see that you can feel that that fs is very like confident making this left while there is a car passing it knows like hey i'm gonna go like 
this way. So you see that that road is closed. So we can do is make a right turn on this block and then just, you know, very good. You see, it's, it's, it is showing us the navigation and uh, sometimes it goes to the next block where we came out. But FSD knows the, there is like construction going on. So it just avoid that and came from this road, which is also great. So I'm gonna end the video guys. So let me know in the comment, do you really treat your Tesla FSD as a robo taxi? Do you use your Tesla FSD every single day? Let me know in the comment. And don't forget to comment number eight for this video. Also guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.